What'd you get? I didn't even get to go. What's up guys? Sabrina Victoria and this guy. We are off on a bike ride this morning. My car is in the shop. So Eli and I are doing probably about a 20 mile bike ride today to run all of our errands. I got a backpack on to carry everything. Should be tons of fun. Getting, uh, tilling, killing two birds with one stone today, I guess. So, um, I don't know, we'll keep you updated. We got some oranges, we got some bananas, we got tons of water, and uh, we have an adventure in front of us. So, I started my uh, mileage on over again to see how long this is. I've never gone this route on my bike before. There's quite a few busy roads. So this is gonna be teaching Eli how to be safe and uh, how to uh, be alert and everything when we're on the main uh, highways here. So, should be good. Here we go.
paper. <laughs> to Elijah from Michael. Snow day. 10, 8, 15. It's a s snowman. Aww. And a pea man. I mean, yeah. And who? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the yellow snowman. Very nice. And I think that's a person. Or I think that's a person too. That's a snowman. The snow, snow, sky, and the sun, and the sun, and grass, grass, and that's it. Very what is nice. It? G G. What? Michael. Did you write his name? Yeah, I wrote it in the yellow. Nice. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> That was so nice of you, Michael. Michael? We gotta see you again, Michael. Yeah, Michael. Thanks so much, Michael. Yeah, Michael. Say bye. Bye, Michael. <laughs>things set we're moving our house is a mess Eli did a bunch of chores today got a lot of stuff done looking good feeling good so what are we doing going to the park going to the park how bikes bikes and what are we gonna do at the park soccer soccer right yes. more curving more curving yes. warrior Body. All right, so we're on our way. How long is this bike ride? Do you remember? 14 miles. Seven miles there, seven miles back. 14 miles again. That's how we do. Hey, let's look it up. We're out. Fight. <coughs> Hello, guys. All right, so um, as previously stated, Elijah and I rode our bikes. There's our bikes. And you can see them. Loop. Rode our bikes. Elijah and I rode our bikes to the park. And we were playing here on this goal. And while we were here, um, Elijah discovered that some of his friends showed up at the park, which is awesome. So um, him and I probably played, I don't know, for about 20 minutes or so. Soccer really wears me out, seriously. So he is now off playing with his friends over here. Whoop, you can barely see them. Little guys, having fun, kicking around. And so I am probably gonna go for a few laps around the park and uh, get in my own, ooh, get in some of my own cardio, which should be good. We got some Frisbee guys playing some mad Frisbee. I've never seen Frisbee played competitively before. I've heard about it, never seen it. These guys are playing, playing pretty competitively. Um, smack talking each other. And they can throw a frisbee like no one I've ever seen throw a frisbee before. Pretty radical. So, um, I know, just kind of wanted to remind you guys that I know that up north, um, I'm down in Florida, so today it's about 60, 65 degrees out. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm just wearing like a little jacket thing to stay warm. Although when I was playing around, running around doing soccer, I was getting pretty hot. I almost took my jacket off. But for some of you who are um, up north and enduring the cold rush that has hit recently, um, I just want to remind you guys that it is not, um, it's 80% diet. So only 20% exercise. So although the exercise is very important, um, don't let that get you down. You know, get yourself to the gym. Um, and you know, do the best that you can. I know that going outside and playing outside and exercising outside isn't, 
you know, it's a little more difficult at the moment if you choose for it to be. But um, the important thing is just making sure that you're eating correctly, um, eating the right portion sizes, um, eating the right foods, make sure you're getting enough carbs, enough protein, enough fruits and vegetables, lots and lots and lots of vegetables. Um, I know and a lot of us are, <laughs> I know a lot of people don't necessarily like their vegetables, but um, you know, once you kind of get the hang of it, it is um, definitely something that your body craves. I know now that I am living a healthier lifestyle, I never thought ever in a million years, if you would have asked me 12 years ago, um, <laughs> uh, you know, how I feel about sitting down and eating salads, uh, wasn't really my cup of tea. But um, as the years have progressed and as I've been getting healthier and learning and educating myself, it gets easier and easier and my body actually craves the greens. It craves um, the good nutrition and, um, you know, it's not as difficult or it's actually not difficult, you know, it's, and it's not difficult at all to, um, you know, make myself a salad or put a crap load of, you know, spinach or kale in one of my smoothies and spin myself up a beautifully neon green um, mason jar filled with all sorts of nutrients. So, you know, it just takes time, it takes adjusting. Um, you have to realize that sugar in today's day and age is um, addictive. You know, we as Americans are addicted to sugar. So it takes a while to kind of clean your palate and uh, get your body adjusted to what is true sugars and what your body needs as far as sugar um, and the taste buds and all that jazz. So give yourself some time. Uh, be patient with yourself. Don't get down on yourself. Uh, you know, it's, it's all a progress. A lot of times people want overnight success. You know, you're gonna start going to the gym here, a few days here, a few days there, eating right. You might not see immediate results. Um, you got to just keep going. You got to keep going. It takes a lot of time. You have to think about how much time it took you to put all the weight on. Um, it takes <laughs> that long, if not longer, to take the weight off. So you need patience and um, concentrate more so on just how you're feeling, um, more so than what's this, what the scale's telling you or what your pant size is telling you. Um, you know, realize the fatigue going away, realize the burst of energy, realize the lightness, the uh, non-bloated feeling that you have in your stomach, all of that is so important. Um, keeps the mind clear. And um, in the long run, you know, that's what um, gives us healthy, you know, gives us a healthy life. So um, anyways, I am going to go ahead and do you know, about two, three, four miles or so, depending on how long Eli wants to play. Take our bikes back to the house. I will probably make myself a beautiful smoothie again tonight for Eli and I for some nutrition to close up the night. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll talk to you soon, maybe we won't, I don't know. Um, but we'll talk to you soon. I didn't even get to go. I can't even get up. <laughs>